emphasize the why question. Why now? Why this is so important? I mean, you hear a lot of talk about jobs in Ohio and where Ohio is headed. But the top <coughs> determinants for employers or businesses to come and stay in Ohio, one is infrastructure. The most important issue, the most important ingredient is an educated workforce. We cannot fail to educate all of our students as we move forward in Ohio. The price is too great if we don't get this right. And we are at a critical crossroads now. There is obviously economic stress upon a lot of our districts, especially in the public school system. And we can't afford to waste any tax dollars that are not used effectively, efficiently, and also are not uh, spent in an accountable fashion, which is why uh, Representative Carney and, uh, and uh, Senator Schiavone also introduced legislation to demand uh, public bodies and charter schools. It's too far a great of endeavor for us not to be this serious and not to be this committed to get it right at this time. And I think the issue of full transparency is very important. We know that um, the for-profit management companies legally do not have to open up their books. Now that's a question for the legislators. Do we want full transparency in our public school system or not? Our traditional public schools, school board members are held to a higher standard on transparency. That is not the case for our charter school system with for-profit management companies or non-profit management companies. So are there any further questions? Have you spoken with high-performing charter schools to see what they're doing maybe with regards to teacher evaluations. Are they doing that or how do they... I've not, and that would be a good, you know, good survey to ask. And I am uh, very close to the um, performing arts school in Toledo, and I support that system. They are sponsored by um, the Bowling Green University. So the sponsorship is very, very important, and I wanted to just um, highlight some of the reports that have that have been um, studied and out there for legislators to read. The Ohio Innovation shortchanged how poor performing charters cost all Ohio kids. They're basically basically saying that um, the high performing schools <coughs> are losing children to failing charter schools in their district, and many other results. Ohio policy matters. Avoiding accountability, how charter operators evade Ohio's automatic closure law. The, to, the Thomas Fordham Institute, governance in the charter school sector, time for a reboot, ignored. And then recently, the Ohio Department of Education released that the Ohio Department of Education warns sponsors of consequences. So they're finally, after all these years, putting their policies in place and reviewing sponsors wanting to open up um, new charter schools. And they reviewed the new approval process of six authorizers examining the rigor and thoroughness of the application process each sponsor uses prior to entering into preliminary agreements with a prospective community school. Um, evidently, those were never applied before because now they're being applied. Um, and a lot of the schools are sponsor shopping. So they're really reconstituting, they're looking for another sponsor, and they're just trying to recycle it back into the charter school system and not, not have done any changes. So those are the kinds of things that they're now paying attention to, but I think it's time that we have a legislative study commission to go deeper. I heard one bill number, 548. Could you give us all of the numbers? That is, 548 is the study commission, and 547 is the um, community school teachers being held accountable to teacher evaluations. And then you say there will be a third one? Yes, I have um, the delay of the third grade reading guarantee, and I don't have that with me. Five. 39. 539 and 549. Oh, 549. 549. 549. Yeah.